All right, guys, three, two, one here. Welcome back to the channel. Hit the thumb up, subscribe to the channel if you're new. So today we're going to be talking about RTF rockets versus rockets you build. RTFs are ready to fly, just in case you don't know. Their kits similar to this right here. This is an RTF uh, X15. Had a crash. I'm still restoring this, but I'm actually building it from raw materials, raw parts. I'm not going to use the plastic. But there's a very old X-15 that Exodus put out that was pretty popular. I mean, it was a decent little flyer. I saw it years ago. I didn't get it way back then, though. This is the, their newer version, probably like from 2003 or four, somewhere back then. But anyway, RTFs come in all shapes and sizes. Some of the more uh, RTFs that are getting some chit chat was Estes new release space shuttle, which you can check one of my videos. You'll see the space shuttle. I did a review on that. The SLS and the Saturn V. These are fairly new releases, all one 200 scale. That's one thing I do like about this collection of um, of RTFs. They're all in the scale with, with, with each other. They all are accommodating. These are the actual sizes that they would have been standing next to each other. So that's pretty cool when it comes to those. I don't mind um, RTFs. A lot of people don't like them. I'm sorry. I just saw some chit chat. I like, I actually like the SLS. I like what they did with this. I thought this is a nice touch. They did a good job on it. I mean, it flies well. You have to use the flight fins, which are right there. And it flew great. It's a great flying rocket. Um, I like it a lot. Same with the Saturn V. Even though I broke the fin on the Saturn V, great flying rocket. They're true. They're stable. They fly great. And I'm hoping the same for the Space Shuttle. This is the newer release. It's not... Like, as far as an RTF, it's cool. It's missing some details and stuff, like, stuff that I can actually go back and put in a lot of the markings. I will probably have to take these decals off and get things more more true. But overall, it's an okay release. I mean, it's not, to me, I like those better. But stand within the one two hundred scale range, these are all collectible and all together. And Estes, people got to understand, like, I think a lot of people don't like the RTFs. I'm not sure, maybe you are age group our class of guys that do this and and girls that do this hobby um kids these days aren't building models they're not in their house sitting there building models i mean it's just not that era those days are gone that was our time period we built model cars and we didn't mind them sitting on the shelf even though i got out of cars because that was exactly the problem like it didn't do anything and rockets they did something you can sit them on the shelf and they can go fly like these are all displayable and they can go fly now when it comes to the whole rtf versus the builder kits, of course, I prefer the builder's kits, but I do appreciate the RTFs. Like, great, I built the space shuttle. I can build an Artemis. As a matter of fact, I mean, the um, SLS. Hopefully, North Coast Rocketry get theirs out soon because that's the one I'm going to get. Like, you can scale this stuff and you can build anything you want, but when they make it RTF, I'm with it. I'm cool. No problem. Like, this Saturn's nice to fly a nice little small Saturn, even though I have my, I have my, my, my big version right here. Here it is. All built. Still got to get this out and flying again. Ready to go. This is ready to go. It's ready to go as of right now. Just got to get it back out. Got to get a day. Got to really feel like flying out when that's on. That's a beauty. So, and I'm also still working on the Saturn 1B the cluster version. This is the classic, classic vintage one. I just got to finish the capsule. That's all that's need as far as the build and the paint. But I don't have a problem with RTF some. If they're done well, they're done well. And here's another RTF you could probably see right here. I just added these clear flight fins. I didn't have the fins for these. I have two of these X-Wing fighters. Um, they kick out a pod. They fly with many engines. And I got to add a, uh, a stream of recovery. But I can't wait to fly this little guy. Um, got the clear fins so it don't really change the profile. I just cut some material and made those clear fins. But here's another RTF. Here's, look at these RTFs. RTFs. Micromax. SR-71 Blackbird, it flies. Look, the mini Saturn V, it flies. And look, a space shuttle, it flies. All um, Micromax stuff by Quest. And last but not least, out of that collection, I got the Little Joe. Got the Little Joe. Actually, somebody gave me this one. Um, so it's kind of a little shelf queen, but here's my Little Joe that I built. This is my scratch built Little Joe from years and years ago. Many flights on this one. I like it a lot. And um, yeah, so... Just want to discuss the whole RTF thing. By far, you know, I choose the builder's kits, but I do appreciate the RTFs. I don't have a problem with them. Um, when they, something released, something gets released, and, it, and it's cool, and it's nice. Now, you know what? That's good. I don't have to do anything. I can just go and fly. You spend more time flying. But you do this more rewarding to build a rocket and um, take it out and fly. I do agree there, but I'm not totally against RTFs, especially... This little collection here is pretty cool. This is pretty good because it's all, like I said, one 200 scale. Everything's 
in line with each other, like scale wise. It's all it's all perfect. These boosters are actually the same. They're the same width. It's just longer. The Artemis, you know, for the um, I keep saying Artemis. Well, it's the name of the rocket, but they extended it um, for the um, SLS rocket. So, and um, the the booster, same width, just longer. But yeah, more fuel, more power. But yeah, I have no issue really with um, with uh, the rate of fly rockets. Uh, I don't get them all, of course. Uh, but the scale ones, I will get if they're done right. I didn't get the Blue Origin and Shepard. I really didn't. Really wasn't drawn to that. I do have the SpaceX, the Falcon. I have their Falcon one by Estes, the big one. It won't fly. That's more self queen collectible. I'm going to keep that one um, probably sealed. I'll probably never fly that, but I do have ones to fly. I have the SpaceX version. I have the one by Boyce. And I have the one by Max Q, which I'll bring that right here. That's right. Or I'll bring it down. And here's the one. I did my burns on it. And here is the version by Max Q, which I do like what he did here. This was a cool touch to make these so they fold up while they fly. And then you got your thrust ring screws off. I did all the burns and everything. So then these, he sent me a new set of these because the, the other ones wouldn't stay out. Yeah, these ones will stay for the most part. Still a little loose, but yeah, he's a pretty cool guy. So he has some, has some good scale kits. And to be honest with you... <laughs> 3D printed rockets are very close to RTF, so it's um it's debatable. It's, it's very close. You have to do very little work. You can build a 3D printed rocket the day you get it and probably fly in that same day, whereas you know by doing very little very little work to it. So it's all just a um just a discussion, just a discussion. I know some people don't like them, but um I don't I don't mind them. I don't mind um I don't mind RTF rockets. And like I said, they get really small. This is the little um, Micromax. Microbax um SR seventy one Blackbird, so but yeah, yeah I have really no issues with them and I think it's just a generational thing. Kids aren't building; they're doing more video games and stuff these days. Um, whole different time period, whole different era. Like they're more video game based. Unless you get a special kid that wants to, I think I said this before, that don't mind building the model and he gets it. Then you take it out and they fly it. There's some out there, but I think their numbers are down compared to when. I was growing up and when some of you guys were growing up, like we, it was our time period to build, you know, we build models. And like I said, if you got into rocketry, we built rockets and um, we went out and we flew them and they recovered and we could fly them again. That was the, the fascinating part for me, like that they could fly again. It was like, what? This can fly again? That was the best. I was like, okay. So now it's like, it's worthwhile. It's not just like a firework or anything. So, but yeah, that's my whole take on, you know, RTFs versus um, rocket you build. I choose overall the ones you build definitely better but i do appreciate you know rtfs no problem at all with them and these like i said these are good man they did a good job i mean they did a good job with the saturn 5 the sls and even a shuttle i put the shuttle out of these the, the quality on these is a little higher i think the shuttle they had to do i mean they had to make this glider i mean they had to make it a glider so it's this high density foam I mean, you can see where they did some masking and airbrushing. Not super detailed, but they got the shape right. And that is, that gets some points. Like I would, it would have been nice if they did some more detailing in here and stuff like that. But it's a glider. It's a glider. I'm going to get it all trimmed and I'm going to fly it. Yeah, I'm going to get it trimmed and fly it. So, and this one, just to take down my other one. Hold right there. Just to look at the orbiters. So just comparing orbiters, like this is the original one. This is the vintage orbiter. Like shape-wise, I wish they had did it correct like this one. But I went and I just did my detailing. NASA Meatball logo there with Lannis on the newer, on the Estes one. They just went with this big U.S. flag there, sticker, and then they did a NASA with an Estes logo. So I guess this is just more like just space shuttle, not necessarily. It's not, definitely it's not the name of the ship. Then you can see here where there's more detailing on the nose, like some stuff can go there. And if I wanted, I could really detail this one out. I could really get to work on this and make it look a lot nicer. But I'm going to just fly it. It's a flyer. And here's my other one. You got, I mean, you got your flaps that work here. So, and just detailing all throughout that I took the time to do. So, and you can see even some where the, um, where the payload bay would open. This one don't have that. Let me see about this little Micro Max. Yeah, little even like little micro max got some details on it. So, 
Yeah, they got the gray right, so they did get some things. They got some things correct on it. They got some things correct. But scale-wise, this looks, I mean, coming in, it looks, looks just like it. Looks good. Looks good, so. But not a bad release. Not a bad release. Like I said, and it matches right with the other one, 200 scale stuff, so. Yeah, just wanted to show you guys some comparisons between the, or the versus, <laughs> Ray to Fly versus Kits You Build. Like I said, my vote goes for Kits You Build, but I appreciate an RTF. No problem at all. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Model Rock 321, just sharing a little idea with you. RTFs aren't that bad. You can get out there and fly today. And it's a different generation. These kids don't really, I think they're more video game and virtual reality based. They're AI kids now, so <laughs> it's a little different time. It's my Rock 321. Hit that subscribe button. Check back. This should be flying. The uh, space shuttle should be flying. And, um, we'll catch you on another video. Use discount code. You can get any three of those right now. Put the discount code in. IN underscore 321 at estesrockets.com. Check the links below to my website. Some stuff should be in there. Kits should be coming. If you want a little Joe kit, let me know. The bigger version, um, those are outer production. And these are some older ones I had in the stash. I'm departing with a few things here and there. So take advantage of it. It's my Rock 321, and see you on another video.